Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Today, we are going to be talking about postcards. Even if you are not one of my Patreon members that gets one postcard a month, if you are a junk journaler, I'm going to guess that you probably collect either new postcards or vintage ones, and I just know that lots of people would love to have different ideas on how to use postcards. So we're just gonna go over five easy ways that you can use postcards. Maybe there's something you haven't thought about, maybe you have, but we're gonna go over it anyways. And the first one, I've shown this idea a few times. I got the original idea from Kara Brandon, but this is a little hidden pocket, like so. And a postcard is the perfect base for this because it's a nice, sturdy material. And we're gonna get started. We're just going to take one here. I Now, I have, as you can see, just a big variety of postcards. I probably got most of these from Amazon. I do like vintage ones as well, but these are nice and affordable. And so, for this idea, you're just going to need a postcard. You will need either a smaller index card or just a smaller piece of scrap paper, something smaller than your postcard. And then you'll just need some scrap paper for the back of it. So the first thing that we want to do, I'm going to cut somewhere at the top. And it really doesn't matter. You can decide wherever your cut is going to be. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of eyeball it, and there are some sirens, and I'm going to cut like right here. Then we're going to take our index card, and I'm going to glue this on the back of the top. And again, I'm not going to measure anything. I'm just going to glue maybe like an inch or so on like that. Now you want to make sure that you are leaving some space on each side to give room for the actual pocket part. So let me show you what I mean. So now you're going to take your second piece and just put it underneath here. We want to make sure that our index card is no longer than the postcard because again it needs to be able to slide in here. Okay, so next what we need to do, we need a second piece of paper. We're gonna use our scrap paper here, and it needs to be the same exact size as our bottom piece. So I just go like this, and I'm just gonna cut around so that it will be the exact same size. And then what we're going to do is glue this part on the backing, but you only need to glue around the three edges and you definitely want to make sure it's very close to all of the edges so that you have plenty of space for your pocket. Having a hard time getting it right on the edge there, but that's okay. And then you'll just take your second piece and make sure it's lined up exactly right here. So once that dries, now you can take your top of the postcard and you can slide your index card or paper into the pocket and you will see that these are going to line up perfectly. So just kind of get it to line up how it needs to. And now it's going to give that illusion that you just have a full postcard. And this is really fun to put in a journal and you could glue the entire bottom down and then when you turn the page it's just going to look like a postcard but really you can lift this up and you'll have a secret little spot for journaling. I love this and I use this idea all the time. So we're going to set this aside so that we can now go on to number two. Now we are going to take our postcard and as always these are very simple ideas but we're just going to turn this into a tag. And so for this you can decide what size or shape that you want. I think I am going to 
I'm deciding because I love this. You know what? I'm going to save this postcard because I love it. It's going to work better for a different idea. I'm going to turn this one into a tag. And so I'm going to just cut the corners off. I mean, such a simple idea, but honestly, sometimes when we are stuck in a rut, we don't think of these simple things. I'm going to just use that side I cut off to measure and make sure that this side is exact. And to give it more of a tag illusion, I'm gonna ink up the edges just to add a little something. I'm using my new favorite color, Fossilized Amber Distress Oxide. I love this color so much. And if I cut this even thinner, I think it would even look great as well. But I'm also going to put an eyelet at the top. Now you don't have to do this part if you do not have one of these lovely crocodiles. I will try to link mine below, but it was a lovely gift and I use this all the time. But I'm just gonna eyeball it and I'm going to punch a hole at the top, somewhere in the middle. <laughs> so this would look great, you could just put some some trim through that without having to do this next part but of course I am going to add an eyelet and I think I'm going to do a silver one so that it actually does stand out just a little bit and I will close that eyelet and now we can set this aside to finish off our tag with some seam binding here and I'm just going to cut off a little piece like that. I'm going to fold it in half and then just go ahead and place it through the eyelet. And then this is great because you can use this to float around in a journal. You can still journal on the back of it, but it just kind of gives your postcard a new look. And I think it, you know, it's less post postcardy, I guess you could say. <laughs> so there we go. That was number two. Okay, let's move on to number three, and now I'm going to use this postcard because I realized that this one looks a little better um, going, ver uh, going horizontal. And so we're going to make an expandable envelope or pocket, whatever you want to call it. So what I'm going to do is you want to have a piece of scrapbook paper or any type of paper, and you want it to be... Um, about double the size of your postcard. Now I wanted to have a little bit of a border so I made mine just a tad bigger and so then you're just gonna fold it in half and you can decide where the opening is going to be on your um, your envelope. I'm gonna have it actually just be at the top here and so this is just so simple as well you don't have to do this with a postcard but I thought it would work so well. I'm going to take some more scrap paper and I'll try to give you measurements on this because I know that measurements help so many people and it, as you can tell, I do not measure things. So my main paper is eight and seven eighths of an inch by six inches. And so now we are going to, I'll tell you the measurements on this. We just want two more pieces here. Whoops, my, I need to... You know what? I'm just going to cut that. I need a new blade and I keep destroying everything that I am trying to cut, but that's okay. Okay, so these pieces are tangled up and a mess, but that's okay. Three and one eighth of an inch by three inches. And we are simply just going to put it on our scoreboard here on the three inch side. And I'm going to make two score marks. You don't have to use a scoreboard for this. You can just fold these, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold at the one inch mark and the two inch mark. And you are going to, you want like an accordion shape. And if you want yours to be longer, then you can have your envelope be um, even more expanded, but I think this will be fine. So we're doing the same thing on the three inch side we're folding at one inch and two inches. So you can see that you do not have to have a scoreboard for this because you can just basically have a scrap piece of paper and you fold it as an accordion. But since we have it here, we're gonna use it. Now what I'm gonna do is just glue 
one of the sides on this side here and I'm not really even paying attention to what way the, this little accordion piece is going because I'm just using this to give us a bigger envelope. I'm not trying to have an exact um, size or anything like that. And then we're going to glue the second one and you do want these to be just slightly above our fold mark if that makes sense. So you can see that my paper is actually dirty. Um, so you can see this is the fold mark and I, I left a tiny bit of space in there. Now we're going to glue this side onto the other side so that we can close this. I'm just going to add a good amount of glue. And so I'm just going to push those down. I'm going to fold that up. You want to let those dry, but while that's happening, we can go ahead and add our postcard just to finish it off. Like this was such a quick way to have a decorated um, envelope. And I'm going to ink up the edges, even though this is already kind of distressed. I love these postcards. They're, I always forget, but I think it's William Morris. And I will have any of the links that I can find to the postcards that I'm using here today. I'll have them all below. They're affiliate links. You don't have to use my links if you don't want to. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to glue this on, but I'm going to actually just glue on like three sides so that I can have an extra little pocket. Why not? So I'm just deciding where I want the pocket to be. Okay, so I'm just going to glue, 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 and I'm going to have the pocket be on the side here. I like this postcard because I feel like I can use it horizontal or vertical, and it looks great. So, I mean, that was just a simple, quick, and I think it's so cute, but then you have in the little expandable envelope so you can put some ephemera in there or whatever you wish, and there we go. So let's set that aside. Next up is going to be using a postcard for a journal cover. Now this, you could easily take any of the postcards that you love and just put it on a journal cover, but of course I want to demonstrate. So I'm just going to use this tiny little journal cover that I made in one of the previous videos about five ways to use fabric. And if you haven't seen that, go check it out. So I am actually going to take, since this is small, we, we are limited in what we can use, and I am just going to actually cut this down a bit on my trimmer that does not work. <laughs> and we're just going to have partial image because we're going to have to cut it down pretty small, but you get the point. So you could use this on any kind of journal that just needs a little extra something, something. Okay, let's see how far we can go with this. I still like that though. It just gives a, a little bit of interest. And of course we could decorate further. We could add other little embellishments kind of over it. And I know, yes, this is just a partial little picture here, but I think you get the point. If you have a bigger journal, you could easily add a full postcard or a full image. And so I'm just going to glue it down. You could keep it a pocket as well if you didn't um, glue down all of the sides. I'm going to go like that, and just because we're here, and I happen to have these little butterfly stickers, I think I want to add one of these. Ooh, we'll use one that's kind of to the side. And I'm just going to remove the backing. I believe these stickers came in my last month of Your Creative Studio. We have a new one coming, actually. So that, I'm excited for that, but um, for this I think I'm just going to kind of place it right here and then it kind of ties everything into one, but I think even though we had to just kind of trim that image, I still like that and 
that would just be such a quick, easy way to make some journal covers if you have a bunch of postcards that you really like and want to use. So I have a lot of other ideas such as using them like in your journal, you could use it as a flip, you could use it as a waterfall, you could use it as just a plain pocket, but I wanted to do something just a tad bit different and we're going to take a postcard. So this idea is going to be for maybe some postcards that you don't exactly love, let's say, and you still want to kind of repurpose them. I actually do love all of these, but to demonstrate, of course, I'm just gonna to have to take one and we're gonna do like a little decoupage collage. So I'm going to use just some decoupage paper. I have a napkin and I have a doily. So yeah, I think that this is gonna be cool because the image will still kind of show through. And you can get so creative with this. You could add lots of inks. You could add different layers of things. For this one, I think I'm just gonna start by adding glue over the entire thing. And then once this is decorated, how can you use that? Well, you could use this as a journaling card. Again, you could use this now as any of the ideas that we just went over, but I think on its own, it's gonna look like a really cool little piece of art. <laughs> so you could just have it be on a page in your journal by itself. And I think that this would be a really, really fun way. I kind of want this to be a little wrinkled, so I'm not gonna try to put it on too perfect. I just like the texture that it gives. And if I spent time on this, more time on this, I think this would be such a fun thing to get out the inks that I have, the ink sprays and things like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of napkin so we can see. I'm gonna grab, there's this little um, butterfly on the napkin, so I'm gonna kind of just rip that out, but not perfectly. And then we're gonna try to remove the backing the best that we can. There we go. And I think I'll place this here. You definitely want plenty of glue when doing this because you want everything to stick down really good. If you like using Mod Podge, you could also do that. I don't love the stickiness, so personally I would use like maybe the matte one, but I still feel like it uh, is a bit sticky in the end. But okay, for the last little part, I think I'm just gonna, I want the doily piece to be up here, but I also want it to be maybe a bit more brown. Not so stark white, but not, it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh my gosh, we could get stencils out. I mean, so many fun things that you could actually do with this. And of course, I'm just giving a little bit of a teaser as your idea, but I hope that you guys do this. <laughs> okay, just again, making sure everything is stuck down. Oh my gosh, we could get out our stamps. I'm gonna actually use fossilized amber to go around the edges of this. And you know what, I think I at least need to grab one stamp so that we can finish this off. So I'm just gonna use this little wooden stamp that I have that has like a little fairy, it's inside of a tag. I think these came from Amazon, but I can't remember exactly. So I'm gonna put something underneath because I'm just going to stamp a portion of it. And it's all still wet, so I would maybe wait if you were doing this part, if you were adding stamps, but okay. That looks all right though. So again, adding all kinds of inks would be really fun to the, for this idea. Um, we're gonna have to let this dry, but I think you have a good idea of how that could be super fun. And then it's like a really sturdy um, base as well, so you don't have to be too worried about using a bunch of different products on it. But there we go, guys. That is going to be all of the ideas today. So we have our little decoupage collage postcard. We have a journal cover. We have our expandable envelope. <laughs> We have our postcard tag and we have our little hidden journaling spot postcard. So I hope that you guys got inspired. I hope that you guys liked these ideas. 
let me know do you have any requests for a type of material that you would like me to use and show five different ways to use in your journal i would love to hear your requests down below and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys